So I'm here at Mary Moore Park, which is about half an hour outside of Seattle. It's one of the few areas where drone flying is permitted and being my first time ever flying the new DJI Spark, I decided to come out here to give it a try. So why a drone? I've been taking up this video hobby for going on four years now. And from the very beginning, I always wanted a drone. The reason why it's taken me this long to finally buy a drone has really come down to three things. The first is price. I think in the last three and a half years, the prices of drones have really made them more and more accessible. I remember just when the standard came out and I thought that that was the best it was going to get. And then after that, the Mavic came out. And then this year, the Spark. And every year that passes, DJI and other companies have really surprised us in terms of what is possible to get into the drone game with so much value. The second thing that has kept me from buying a drone has been their size. I see myself using drones to show, you know, the different places that Lizelle and I want to travel to in the next year, or the different places that my friends here in Seattle want to explore that we haven't gone to yet. And the last thing I want is to think about how much gear that I have to carry with me to all of these places. And I was really happy to see how well the Spark fits in your camera gear bag or in your ordinary travel bag or even just your backpack. I was really excited to see how easy it is to quickly take it with you and not worry so much about having a dedicated bag for a drone, the battery, the remote, all of those things. Okay, seriously, yesterday was not working out great for me. And it actually took longer than expected to get everything with the drone all set up. I had to update the batteries, I had to update uh, the software on the drone, and I had to do all this calibration stuff. If you ever get a drone, a really helpful tip is to do all the pre-first flight stuff at home before you get onto the field and waste all your time you know, with your batteries trying to get everything updated and whatnot. On top of that, yesterday was a very cold day. It was in the mid 40s yesterday and it was really hard to to have my, my hands on the control and, and really focus. It just wasn't a good look yesterday and I had to come back, got a good night's sleep. I'm here early. It's even colder today. If yesterday was in the mid 40s, today is in the low 30s. But I feel like I came prepared. I got, you know, my, my big boy jacket on and and uh, got the boots on today. So now, hopefully we'll try this again. That was pretty damn cool. The third and final thing that has kept me from finally getting a drone, and I think is the most important reason, has been how I would use it to tell a story. Like I said, from the very beginning, I wanted a drone. And I'd always tell myself, if I just had a drone, I'd be able to, to shoot better videos, and this video would be so much more awesome. But I also realized that as more and more people got drones, and as I watched more videos with drone footage, I really felt that the storylines of a lot of these videos were really weak and didn't really carry a strong plot or a strong point. I didn't want to rush into getting a drone and instead I wanted to really focus on what it meant to tell the best story possible through video. And I wanted to challenge myself to do that regardless of what camera I had, whether it was a cell phone, whether it was GoPro, whether it was a mirrorless camera that I had. I wanted to make sure that as I invested in this hobby, I didn't get away from the very foundation of why I like shooting videos, which is telling great stories. While I'm really looking forward to creating more videos in 2018, I'm even more excited to have a drone that will just give those stories a little boost. I don't want the drone to be the story. I only want the drone to help tell the story. My name is Angelo, and thanks for watching.